G'day, and welcome to another episode of Ian Smithson's Photography. This evening I'm heading to Lawn. I'm going to drive up to Erskine Falls and have a look there. It's a nice overcast evening, not great for shooting much else, but uh, when it's overcast it's the perfect time to be shooting in forests, um, in gorges, in glens and particularly waterfalls. So enjoy the ride while we get there and I'll speak to you soon. So here we are, we've arrived at the car park at Erskine Falls. This is always a busy place, it's a really popular spot. It's about a 9 or 10 kilometre drive inland from Lawn, which is one of the most popular spots on the Great Ocean Road. So best advice is to get here early in the morning or late afternoon. Um, I'm here now just after 5pm and there are still 15 or so cars in the car park. So uh, that would probably indicate that there's 20 or 30 people down on the path and down at the falls. It always makes it a challenge to photograph down there when there are people around, but uh, we'll go down and give it a go and uh, see what we can find when we get there. G'day, well here we are at the Upper Falls Lookout. We're right at the level of the top of the falls here, looking through a window uh, through the trees. So I thought I'd just take a couple of uh, setting shots here first before I get down to the bottom and uh, shoot from the, the river up at the falls. One of the things you need to concentrate on here is getting enough of the trees around the frame around the outside to give it an interesting feel but trying to crop out as much of the dead branches and the sort of rubbish at the bottom as possible. So I'm going to have to move the tripod around a little bit to try and get that, uh, take a few shots and then head back down the hill. Now that I'm waving the mosquitoes away from my face, I also have to be careful that I keep them off the front of the lens too. Um, as usual, I forgot something, so uh, I don't need the dead kitten uh, because there is no wind. It is completely still here, which is great for shooting at slow shutter speeds because even the leaves in the foreground are not going to be moving. Uh, but with no wind, it means there's lots of mosquitoes around and I forgot the mosquito repellent. Sitting on the desk at home,
I'm now down at the lookout or the viewing platform at the bottom of the falls and I've just taken a test shot here to work out the exposure range that I need because it's really quite extreme. Um, I'll put this over onto video and show you what I'm looking at. And you can see that there is this really deep dark green water here and the white surface on the lichen on that rock then the white of the flowing water over the falls and then the sky in the background and I'm exposing this on the video at one stop under so we're getting a really extreme variation in exposure there I suspect it's around 8 to 10 stops between the bright grey sky in the, at the top and that dark water at the bottom. And so I'm going to be bracketing at one and two third stop intervals. And I'm bracketing two shots under and two shots over. Um, but the normal shot is going to be at minus one exposure value. So I think that's going to work reasonably well. So the next thing I have to do is to set my focus. So first of all, I'm going to crop this using the zoom to the shot that I want. And I just have to move this around just a little bit to get the falls just off center. Um, I don't mind that big rock in the foreground being in the center because it's got a nice balance between the rocks on the right hand side and the little rocks and a bit of greenery on the left hand side so that's okay but having the falls dead in the center is just a bit boring uh, for my view so I've got that set now I need to set the focus and the way I do that is I use manual focus um, I'm shooting at f16 so I'm going to get a really good depth of field and these rocks in front of me are about six or seven metres away and the falls in the background are about 50 or 60 metres away. So I should be able to get that depth of field right as long as I focus on the rocks in the foreground. So I just move the focal point around until I get it on those rocks and focus on those. And now I'm right and I can take my shots. here. I'm shooting vertical, switch it over and shoot a couple of horizontal shots. Obviously I don't get the height in there, but I think that's quite a nice shot. And just in case I bumped it. Check focus. It's pretty good.
All right, that's the first shot. This lovely little S bend of the water here uh, from this little cascade here down flowing across these rocks and these beautiful yellows and browns and green leaves and bark and fern fronds um, in the water. like this little waterfall flowing off the left hand side into this pond and the slow moving bubbles and foam with a really slow shutter speed I might be able to get some really interesting swirls in that whirlpool so I'm going to try a couple of shots with that some close-ups and then some wider angle shots. Mm -hmm. 